Good day and welcome once again to the Information Command Center here at the studios of GIS, which is part of the National Response for COVID-19. Thanks for joining us on NTN, Facebook, or YouTube, as well as our partner stations here in St. Lucia. A reminder that although there's been an increase in activity in St. Lucia, with construction sites, fabric stores, computer and electronic stores, hardware establishments, and other essential services, that St. Lucia is still under a state of emergency. This was extended in Parliament last month to May 31st. As a curfew in place from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. each day, and all mass crowd gatherings are prohibited. Beach picnics, river limes, and all other social gatherings with more than 10 persons are also prohibited. The North and South Zoning Regiment of the island also remained in place. During this period, the government is cognizant of the fact that some of the homeless, poor, and vulnerable are able to find So, a number of programs have been put in place. Among them is the National Meals Program, which is coordinated by NEMO and Events Company of St. Lucia and involves a number of partners, including the SLHDA, the Ministry of Agriculture, the Food Marketing Corporation, the various town and village councils, the Disaster Preparedness Committee, and the St. Lucia Cadet Corps. Last week, Lieutenant Colonel Nathan Harrison offered an update on the St. Lucia Cadet Corps feed program. Let's go to that clip right now. from the office of the commandant and from the executive of the St. Lucia Cadet Corps. Um, as members of the Cadet Corps, we have found ourselves working alongside the National Emergency Management System where we are responsible for the distribution of supplies. Um, the Cadet Corps has been distributing items, one, from the very onset of the COVID-19 um, pandemic experience in St. Lucia where we once had to put together 10,000 packages together with um, volunteer St. Lucia to deliver all around the island. Um, last week we started the national feeding program where we, we distributed some 2,600 um, pack, uh, meals. Today we are distributing another 3,700 meals around the island. The officers have been in the forefront of ensuring that most families in St. Lucia do get something to eat. The meals package will continue for another week or so. I would like to say a quick thank you to all the officers who have put themselves at risk to go out and assist in delivering those meals around the island. They are doing quite a good job. I think we have been getting very good reviews um, from the ministries and from um, all of the persons as to how we've been operating. I would like to say thank you also to the spouses of our officers for allowing them to go out and participate and do the civic duty in this manner. I would also like to say thank you to our cadets at the head Thank persons who are being housed and cared for at the VG Multipurpose Sports Complex. Monday, 
Prime Minister, the Honorable Alan Shastny, visited the site and also spoke to us about caring for the vulnerable. We had this um, they took it upon themselves to bring the homeless persons here. And the liberation industry of help also to emo to handle and manage so sixty seven were building uh, sleeping for me and the idea was for them to be fed on a, uh, three meals a day and I think that so the intention is the right intention but the execution of it and the budgetary uh, allocation for it everybody now is scrambling mm -hmm. so this is additional work for the Ministry of Health and persons want to know how they're going to get paid to be able to but these are this is part of our our daily work so I have to work get it right so that we can be like a pattern. But you never but certainly even when we have hurricanes. Spoke of the option of offering food stamps as has been proposed by some as opposed to providing prepared meals. Options also of food but I would give a many people this farm um get to here we can watch that to the more vulnerable. So it's a win win situation and getting persons now to know farmers have and locally nutrition and in subsequent programs here at the COVID nineteen response center we will be discussing those look at students council and their thoughts on learning education and other aspects and we'll also be speaking to one corporate entity who have in a some of this initiative now back with because of how quickly the coronavirus spreads each new calls for public vision and think of tactics Protection tactics. Quarantine yourself if you feel fluish. You have one And ATMs are accessible before curfew. Total lockdown. Everywhere stays closed 24 7 for a stipulated period. Team tactics. The, student, the role of the Students' Council is to be an advocate student. We are a voice to students. We are able 
able to communicate with them out there. Now I will comment on that. So we need to understand new normal nineteen for your advent nineteen. It's difficult. It was difficult for everyone today aren't able to socialize and come together to discuss various issues with students, but we Community social supports and although through some difficult times we were able to highlight students and still focus on them and make them a priority. We have created uh, element boards and with a webinar which is called 758 Youth Collab Youth Youth Connect Program, mm -hmm. which actually starts tomorrow, um, May 6 at 6 p.m. Okay. Using um, Oh,